Good morning. It's summer officially at our house and um, that comes with my kids getting up earlier than me, wanting to watch TV, wanting to eat, wanting to make their own food. This is the reward I get for sleeping in. Yes, I did sleep in this morning. And I kept telling them in my sleep, they would come in and say, mommy, can I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? There's my sourdough starter. Mommy, can I eat some food? Oh yes, yes, whatever you want, as long as I can sleep just for a little bit longer. Guys, it's time for me to get to work now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emilia. I'm an Orthodox Christian mom of nine. And I just started this YouTube not that long ago. I'm really enjoying putting up some videos for everyone to see what our family does on any given day. On these two days, we were cleaning and eating some sourdough goodies. So at the beginning of this video, it was Tuesday morning. And by the end of this video, it will be Wednesday afternoon. So it kind of spans over the two days of uh, this week where I was just trying to get a bunch of this stuff picked up. And then I made the kids some homemade sourdough treats because I needed to use up my sourdough starter. So I started doing sourdough last summer when I came across the YouTube Farmhouse on Boone. If you have not seen uh, Lisa's uh, YouTube page, you should definitely check it out. I really love her and everything that I made in this video is one of her recipes. you putting away the stools. Yeah. <laughs> oh, time to launch the robot. Okay, here's where I'm at right now. Got some meat defrosting for dinner later. Finally got this area clean. I did not do the second round of dishes yet. All right, here's the living room. Kids were all playing with trains this morning before I got up. There's stuff everywhere. So this week I had bought a lot of celery. I had been planning on using that in my salads, but I just didn't get around to making as many salads as I wanted to. So I decided to make a snack for the kids and I had Zoe come into the kitchen to help me. And as you can see from us just on our faces and stuff, we love working in the kitchen together. It's always fun to just chit chat and um, work together and I just I love having older kids it's really fun to just work with them and get to know them and their personalities so that's what we're doing here
so I have been eating keto the last week. I was trying to do it the last few weeks before that, but that's a story for another time. Anyway, so I'm making myself some goat cheese on this celery and she is using the peanut butter for the other kids and then she puts sugar-free chocolate chips on them and it's pretty tasty. Here's my sourdough starter. It's been sitting since this morning when I showed you guys earlier. I am gonna make pizza with my sourdough starter. So due to Pentecost, we are in a fast free week. Also because we are going to be going into a short fast here in a few days and so uh, we can just eat whatever meat and cheese and dairy and eggs and everything that we want right now. So I'm actually making this recipe from farmhouseonboon.com and um, basically what it is is it's just sourdough starter used as the crust of the pizza and you have to put it in a preheated, uh, extremely hot cast iron skillet and then you bake it for 10 minutes. So what I do is take the cast iron skillet out of the oven and just pre-oil it a little bit, basically greasing the pan. And um, I just use olive oil. You could use coconut oil. I think it adds to the taste though if you use olive oil. So my sourdough is just actually um, fed with wheat flour and then um, maybe Lisa can tell me what I'm doing wrong here because my, my base actually cracked a little bit here, my crust. So hopefully she'll let me know why that kept happening. But if you watch me here when I'm um, kind of like stirring it around and spreading out the um, sourdough starter, there's like one spot that just keeps coming up and it happens to me every single time. I don't know if it's cause like the pan is not seasoned enough or if there's too much oil there or what it is, I don't know. So Lisa, if you see this, tell me what I'm doing wrong.
Okay, so after the crust bakes for 10 minutes, you take it out and you put all of the toppings on it. And I completely forgot to film that. So I just put um, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and then the veggies you saw me chopping up earlier with some onions and spinach. And basically it's delicious, <laughs> but I was gonna say it's basically a veggie pizza, but we put pepperoni on there. So I guess you can't really call it a veggie pizza. I just try to put as much vegetables on there as I can get my kids to eat.
Was that fun? Huh? Was that fun? Hi. Is that good? Is that what color do you got? What color do you got? What color do you got? Pink. Pink. Little girl. Are you cold? <laughs> Go run back around. Good job. <laughs> He's working his way into the water. He's scared of it. Mmm, yummy. I'm an So he's been working on this embroidery. Can make it into a She's making it into a pillow. It's supposed to be a tea towel, but I told her if she folds it in half and stuffs it, it could be a pillow. It's really cute. Well, that's the end of my vlog for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it and come back for more. Um, lots of summer fun activities going on, so stay tuned. Bye.